I failed at the tiling before we went to Ireland. But then I was thinking about it the whole time we were in Ireland, wondering why I failed and how hard can it be and all that. So I've decided to do it myself again. That last layer of screed has been down for two days, two and a half days now. It's hard on the surface, but in a lot of places there's a hollow knock. That's hollow-ish over here, solid. Not a lot of difference and I'm not worried about it because A is very thin and B the weight distribution across big tiles is such that there'll be no movement anyway. So I'm not worried about that. Um, I did have to do a patch there. Um, there was a hollow there where water pooled. So I used that pooling water to put in another little shimmy in there to flatten that out. But anyway, now I am confident enough to crack on with putting tiles down. Except I'm only going to put down one tile today, probably. Uh, my plan is, if I only get one tile done today, that's a win. If I get two or three, that's a bonus. But the one tile here in the corner is my starting point where everything else will fan out from there. So if I take my time and get this first tile perfect, then I've got a better chance going with the rest. So take my time, no rushing. One tile is all I want today. The first thing I'm going to do with this tile is put it in place dry and see if there's any shimming required underneath and I'll work to that then. There's a high spot in the middle apparently where if this is resting on the ground it can rock like that. So what I want to do is track down where that high spot is. In fact I think it's over here on the edge, which is easier to deal with. But aside from that, it is close to what I want here. Very close. So I'm fairly happy. Yeah, I think oh, I need to look in here. better very little wobble in it now and when I get the uh, glue under that that'll be almost perfect the right height I don't want to shim it up on this end a little bit maybe because I want to just a millimetre maybe above the, the line of that draw, drain. I want the water to fall off the tyre into the drain. 
Now, let me check for levels. Yeah, that's about perfect. 11.9 mils drop over 450. I'll have to work out if that's good enough. Right, so building code says the recommended ratio of fall within showers is 1 to 60 and 1 to 80. So anywhere between 1 to 60 and 1 to 80. That is currently 1 to 38. So I'm double what's required. So I don't need to fuss about that. If I lose some of that drop in the laying, I'm still good. And I'll measure it again when I've laid it, but now I'm going to put shims under the tile to get my levels right and I will actually leave them in place when I put the glue in there. Actually before I go to lunch I've got some primer to put on the floor. Apparently this will uh, increase adhesion. So I'm all about getting the best possible advantage I can so I'm gonna whack this down and it needs a little bit of time to dry Feels good, there's no wobble in it except side to side. The height's good, maybe a tiny bit on the high side. I can push it down. I said if I get one tile laid properly today I'll be happy. Well I've got two two tiles that I'm happy with so that's a great start. Uh, I am happy with them I'm very happy with the way they're laid out and the heights and the levels and the slopes and the gap that little orange thing orange and black thing there that's a leveler so you put that little metal tag down between them turn it so that the t-bar is under both and then you screw the black thing to lift anything that's low up to the other one so you get them perfectly level and hold them in that place until the glue dries i used one even though i really probably I, I could have got away without it there was just a hair difference between them but i used it twisted it got them perfect 
I've been working away off camera for a while, getting some tiles in, uh, honing my technique. I've got it down to a fine art. And if you believe that, <laughs> uh, anyway, I've got four on the floor, four on the wall. I'm about to put up two more on the wall up there. What I'm dealing with at the moment is the fact that those walls aren't straight. They're not straight, they're not flat. That one in particular has some lumps in it. So that tile there, I've actually got a grinding disc and hollowed out a piece on the back of the tile um, because there's a lump. That's a bit of a rise there. So I had to make a hollow dish on the back of the porcelain tile to accommodate that. Because um, obviously I can't grind the wall because it's got waterproofing on it. These two over here that I've already cut holes in for the pipes, no good because the the seam doesn't line up with that. So I'll have to redo them. I'll use those two for off cut pieces. Those two are being propped up at the moment at the bottom of that tile. It's almost touching the wall, so there's only a very light skim of adhesive behind it. But then up top, there's like uh, 21 mils at the top to be filled in. A little bit more to go in there. I've made that quite liquid so it would get in there and dribble all the way down, fill it up. Uh, these little spacers are working well to make that height the same. They're good. I'm just using those for spacers there, but here I'm going to use them in the proper form where you twist them sideways and then you tighten the black bit and that keeps that edge level or the, the two edges the same depth. So they're like little T. The uh, shaft is one millimeter all round, so I can use it as a spacer. But then you get the T in between them, turn it, and then you can tighten that. And the T pulls the two uh, tiles together so they're flat compared to each other. So um, I deliberately didn't take them out before it set last night just to prove the point like you know.
okay, so that one broke off and it's sticking out there. So now I've got to deal with that. I did these easy ones first, so it looks like progress. But it's only half past three in the afternoon, so I might have to tackle this one. Got the pipe holes in. That would be real progress. I might do both methods. Line up the tire and do it best as I can by eye. And then do the cardboard template and see how far off I am. So I've got three dots on the back. Now I'll do a cardboard template to see if that works any different or better. makes my eyeballing a little bit off. That one needs to come left about three mils. That one needs to go up and left about three mils. And that one needs to go a full half circle down and left. So I'm glad I did the uh, cardboard thing. That hole needs to go down about three mil. Otherwise, spot on. That's pretty good. Uh, needs to come up maybe two mils. 
so it's not resting on that and it's level there so about two mils to do it i just got to adjust my height shimming at the bottom Brace on that one too. I'll take a break from the tiling for now because what I want to do is put down some screed on the other half of the floor to get it just about right to match with the tiles on the left. Um, I hate this stuff that I've mixed up. It goes really, really thick when you put the right amount of water in it. So I've put extra water in it to make it a bit more manageable on the floor. But doing that, it needs more time to cure. And since we're going off on a wee holiday, uh, I thought this was the perfect time to put down the screed because now it has nine days to cure all by itself. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Hope you've subscribed. We'll be back in nine days time.